Yes, very vividly, very vividly. I was, I, I was struck as much by the differences as by the similarities, and both were in many ways unexpected. Um, now, this, this is an area in which, in which a very different language is spoken from the ones which uh, I had spoken, either Bengali, which was my native language, or Hindi, which is the language spoken in Delhi, where I had already started working in the University of Delhi. Tamil is a totally different language. I'd learned a bit of Tamil before coming out. Uh, and w what struck me, I, I was living with a group of Brahmins, and they, they had an elaborate ritual vocabulary, much of which was highly Sanskritized. And of course, Bengali is the most Sanskritized among Indian languages. So I, I, I not only surprised myself, but I also surprised the people with whom I lived uh, by, by so my natural understanding of their ritual vocabulary, much of which was in Sanskrit. And, and Sanskritized Bengali had, uh, was not all that different from the... So that was one thing. The other thing was, of course, uh, my, my, my mother's family uh, were very orthodox Brahmins until my mother's generation. And my maternal grandmother lived in many ways the life of a Brahmin widow. And the, the, the kind of life which has disappeared more or less from the cities now in, 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 in Bengal. And for instance, um, she would not wear shoes, she would walk about barefooted, she would go every every morning to bathe uh, in the river. This, this, my childhood was in, was in Chandanagore, which was a French enclave about 20 miles north of Calcutta, and she would go every morning to bathe, and she would come back uh, in her wet clothes. And I'd forgotten all this, or thought that I'd put all this behind me. But when I went to live in this village, what, about 20 years afterwards, um, I would see these uh, Sri Vaishnava Brahmin widows coming back from their morning bath in the river Kaveri. And this immediately brought back to me uh, so many, s such an important part of my childhood. So I was, I was certainly discovering myself while I was doing my fieldwork, and also discovering many things which were very different from what I'd expected them to be.